Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another gardening video. So today I have something very exciting to me, um, cat mint or nepeta. Now this is the Junior Walker variety um, and I have been looking for cat mint for a while. I don't know why, but I just really wanted some. I've seen some in a lot of gardens, often towards the front, kind of spilling over into the walkways. And it gives me that kind of cottage um, vibe that I like so much. Um, so I've been looking for some, specifically a shorter variety, but it's a little harder to find in my area. I'm not sure if that's just because the big box stores don't carry it. A lot of my local garden centers do carry it. Um, but they only carry the taller varieties. So I found, found some at uh, Dothan Nurseries earlier this season, like about a month ago, and it was beautiful, but it was the original, original, I cannot talk today, the original Walker Low variety. So the Walker Low variety is one of the taller varieties. I want to say it's 20 to 30 inches high. Um, and the, the name Walker Low is a little misleading. People think low means it is a low variety, but that is just the place, I believe in England, where that particular type of cat mint originated, um, where the garden they found it in was named after. So this, the Junior Walker, is very similar, but it is a actual low variety. So this guy gets 18 tall to 30 wide. It can take full sun. It is a perennial, so it will come back every year. Apparently it will give you a beautiful flush of kind of light bluish purpley blooms in the spring, early summer, all the way through um, May, June, when the heat of the summer comes. And then as it dies out, you want to cut it back by half and it will flush with a second wave of blooms like a lot of perennials do. Of course, the second wave is never as great as that first beautiful flush. Um, and since a lot of this is blooming, it will have color for the season, but it may not have as much color as if it was coming up fresh from the ground this year. Either way, I'm very, very, very excited to find it, especially because I found it at good old Walmart and they had just gotten it in. So they hadn't had a chance to, uh, excuse my French, mess it up yet. <laughs> um, and it was only $10 as opposed to you know, it's a trade-off. The ones at the nursery, the local garden center were beautiful, but they were almost $20 a plant. Um, and that's because they are growing them and taking care of them and they were in beautiful shape. Um, these are in great shape for Walmart. Very happy. So I bought four of them. I'm going to put two here and two down the way. I am very excited about this. As you can see, my Ranunculus is here, got hit by a hard wave of rain yesterday. So they are kind of on the struggle bus, but there's still buds they'll pick up. But they come up very first in the garden. I'll put a link down below where I planted these. This is their first year, so they're a little sparse. Um, but they still came up and gave me beautiful blooms all spring. And they are one of the first things in the garden to bloom. They are corms. They will naturalize and uh, kind of take over an area if you let them and they will come up in the spring. So the plan for this area is that the ranunculus will come up in the spring and then as these blooms die back, the foliage goes down, the catnip will come up and take over for summer and give us two different seasons of interest. So we're going to go ahead and plant these in between the ranunculus corms that I have going on here and hopefully they will live in perfect harmony. I'm very excited to give it a shot, you know? So we're gonna start by planting the first one. Actually planting them is same as always. We're going to dig a hole, we put some fertilizer in, and then we will plant our plant. So let's get started. Guys, somebody took my glove and left it inside out. I have to have words with that person. Pass Betsy. I'm sure it was me. Who else would be wearing my glove? My mom. 
she wears them. Weed. Weed. And of course, I could be using my auger right now. That is my preferred way to plant things, but I don't want to mess up any of my ranunculus corms. So back to the hand shovel. Not like it's hurting me to do it. It's just not as fun. It does look like these have good roots. They're coming out the bottom. Oh yeah. Oh, these are gonna be happy. And once they take off, can always separate them down the line. And I, I've heard that cat mint also does really well with taking cuttings. So, you know, cat mint for everyone. Plant one. Now, cat mint does typically stand up straighter um, and then it flops more as the blooms are spent. I would guess that either some of these blooms are more spent or they probably got hit with that same really hard rain that the ranunculus did. Walmart's only five minutes from here. Let's do the other three.
All right, everything is planted. Now the two here are a smidge hard to see because they are obviously in among the pansies. Now the pansies are cold weather flowers, so they are just about done for the season. <coughs> but I'm loving this light purple, light blue kind of color here and they get 30 inches wide, so they will hopefully take over quite a bit of this area. I may next year, you know, take some cuttings and pop one up front, and maybe in the back, we have a whole trove of foxgloves back there that will pop up and be real pretty. And the Homestead Verbena, which is a perennial, has a bunch of blooms and is just really taken off. I planted it down here and you can see it is rooted in here, here, and here as it's coming up this way. So we'll see how the two mix. Either I will dig this section of the verbena up and move it somewhere else, or if they mix nicely, I'll just let it keep coming this way. And if it keeps coming this way, maybe I won't need any more catmint up front. But half of me just wants to take the pansies out so that I can see what it looks like without the pansies. The other half of me is like, this catmint's going to take a while to really come into its own here. And the pansies are only going to be pretty for another maybe month. So we'll probably just let the pansies go until they peter out. You can see uh, these pansies are almost petered out. So this whole section is going to come out shortly and be replaced with summer annuals. These pansies look great. <laughs> Last but not least, we have our, our first two cat mints. I am really loving that. I think it will be very pretty coming up and it will give us a great, you know, summer versus spring interest with the ranunculus. I wasn't sure what to do with those corms since I don't want to plant anything here that will displace them. So these should work nicely together and give us lots of interest all year. So I'm very excited and I'm just, I'm extra excited that I was able to find some low junior, junior Walker low <laughs> and that it was low price as well because it might be worth $20 but grill is is low on money so I will see y'all in the next video if you want to go back and watch me planting those ranunculus I will put the video here so go check it out bye y'all